Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with another case of 2022 Panini National Treasures Baseball. Pick your team 47. We've done a lot of these. Um, very big thank you. This is a wax party break as well. We'll do that randomizer at the end along with any other cards that need to be randomized. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Look at this. The wax party getting people fired up. We didn't have to, we had to uh, we didn't have to do a filler. We sold this out straight up. Thank you. Jonathan got double last spot mojo. Astros and Marlins, and Triple Aspa Mojo and the Padres. So big thanks to him. Thanks, everybody, for making this break happen. At the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names. Name on top gets into the wax party. Our latest promo, some of you have seen it before. This is our third version of it. It's our biggest one yet. Check out all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. A lot of stuff being given away. In fact, speaking of NT, we're giving away a case of NT football. Check, check out the details. Now, once you get an invite to the party, you're getting something. You're guaranteed to get something. It's just a matter of which thing you're going to get. And the whole list of boxes is public. It's available. I think it totals to be over a hundred thousand dollars of prizes. Now we got to do a lot of breaks, but we'll get there. It'll probably take us, I think, at our absolute fastest. I feel like we could get this done in a couple weeks. The promo. I feel like on average, it'll probably take us four or five weeks. And on the slightly later side, maybe six, seven weeks around, around there. Probably by the end of June, I would, I would imagine. All right, we got Daniel Lynch to lead things off. That's to 99. 55 out of 99 for the Royals. That's going to go to Matthew and the Royals. No number block, no fillers here, just straight up. I like it. All right, we got some field gear. Dylan Carlson. That is two out of 25. Nice dual relic there for, for Raymond and the Cardinals. Picked up the Cardinals straight up. Some stars and stripes. Piece of the Lumber, 11 out of 25, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's going to go to Jonathan and the Friars. Gary Sanchez, 6 out of 25. For the Twins, that's going to be for Jarrett K and the Twins. So Marcus Stroman, 22 out of 25. Look up his numbers. Marcus Stroman has been having a real nice season. Ed P with the Cubs. We got Kyle Manzardo, Tampa Bay Rays. Two color, dual relic and autograph, eight out of 25. Carl with the Rays. Nineteen out of forty nine another another guy that's having a nice season. Josiah Gray, Adam Kupperman. Adam, I got Josiah Gray, former Dodger prospect, Josiah Gray, got him on my fantasy team. The wins aren't there, obviously, because the Nationals aren't very good. But he's putting up some nice numbers. 
So he's having a strong season and consistent too. I think that's the key, right, with young pitchers. Hey, here's some Larry Walker, 8 out of 25. That Josiah Gray in RPA, Adam. And Larry Walker, that's for the Rocks. That's going to be for Eric M. Oh, Canada. Something, something, something. Here's some dual memorabilia signatures out of 10. What's it going to be? It's going to be a Met. It's Tyler McGill. You got the TS of Mets. That's pretty cool. And his autograph. Nice. That's for Scott and the Metropolitans. And then this is usually just a regular card. Yeah, it's Miguel Cabrera. Miggy, 18 out of 24. Danny's saying Nolan Gorman, your best fantasy pickup. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one, Scott. In fact, let me bore you with my, uh, how did my fantasy team do today? I'm in, I'm in a tough one, gang. 16 teams, a keeper league, and a lot of smart uh, baseball guys in this league. So it's been tough. And I'm the kind of guy that likes to just draft from the get, I don't, I don't trade too much. I don't wheel and deal too much. I do work the waiver wires a lot. Not, not a big trade guy. Now, at least not this stage of the season. Wait, still, I don't really start trading until maybe halfway th through the season. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Oh, they didn't tape the other side. Come on, Panini. Jamming me up here. Thankfully, my, my cat-like reflexes. Save the day. All right. Both B. Millers, yeah, for Bryce and Bobby. Bobby got picked up on, on waivers quite quickly. And we do auction. We do a fab. We do a free agent acquisition budget. Or I guess free agent budget now. I think they shortened it. Anyhow, yeah, they were. They, I was outbid by a number of dollars. Travis Demery for Adam and the Braves. Got a nice relic here. Mike Ballman, four out of ten for the O's. It's gonna be for Kevin M. I guess it was too big for the buy. No, they didn't even finish the taping there. To be fair, of the thousands of NT boxes I've opened up over my career, I think that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Here's some field gear, Andrew McCutcheon. Is that some infield dirt on there? These are game used, right? Yeah, game worn used material. Nine out of 25. And that's Brewer's Edition. That's going to be for Chad O. We got a Luis Garcia, Eckler's Choice, Relic and Autograph, 12 out of 49 for AK. Oh, that's nice. You're two, oh, you're only allowed two pitcher pickups per week. That's a good ad, though. And with, the, with the, a number of Dodgers on the IL, I think they're going to be relying on the likes of Gavin Stone and Bobby Miller, 73 out of 99, Mario Feliciano. That's for the Brew Crew, Chad O. We got Rattle On, Jake McCarthy, 40 out of 40 uh, out of 99. It's the famous Led Zeppelin B-side, Rattle On, B-side to Ramble On. That goes to Adam and the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's a cold-hearted snake. Nice Kyle Muller. I think the part of the Braves lettering there, right? 25 out of 25 for the ATL. That's also for Adam Copperman. Looked into his eyes. Uh-oh, he's been telling lies. Adam, I think this is not going to go into a 180. 
So let's put it in this top loader. So let's put it into this slider box here. And, uh, we'll make sure our shipping team puts a couple of fillers in there so it doesn't rattle around, doesn't rattle on in there. All right, we got a plate in an auto spot. Ooh! Ronald Acuna Jr. for Adam Copperman and the Braves. Adam's on the East Coast. He's probably asleep by now. Unless he fell asleep with the laptop open. Adam, wake up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Adam's going to be awake. I, I normally don't mind sticker autos. You know, I know some people are stickler, sticklers about stickers. I don't mind all that much. I do, though, when it's a plate. It doesn't look good. So that's why I always appreciate the on-plate autographs. I think those are really strong. So I guess, Adam, good morning. Atlanta Braves, Adam Copperman, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Nice Ronald Acuna Jr. He's back to, his, back to his hitting ways. Might save that for picture time. All right. Let's get the hit on the bottom first, which is Ryan Bliss for Arizona. Another one for Adam. And now let's see what that fat, fat book is going to be about. Thick. If you like them thick, here they are. Six out of ten. Timeless treasures. Ooh, catchers? Pud Rodriguez, Mike Piazza, Johnny Bench, Gary Carter. That's that's a really nice collection of catchers right there. That is strong. Got a couple old school guys and not, not as old school guys. Still, still old school, but not as old school. Overall old school. Some older than others. That's awesome. Um, so that's a randomizer between Cincinnati. Uh, that'll be for Ed P, Montreal, Adam Kupperman, Expo stuff goes to the Nationals, and uh, the Rangers, Jonathan, and Mets, Scott. Yeah, not Mets, Gary Carter. Your odds do not increase, Scott. But you're still in the mix. We're going to slide that right back there so I don't forget to, uh, to randomize that at the end. So a little, little suspense at the end. All right, next box. No negative points on our league, so guys add every two. Oh, so they put a limit. No innings limits, or there was no innings limits. Gotta add those innings limits. I think one of my better, well, I drafted Cal Raleigh. I drafted Torkelson, or I kept Torkelson. Spencer Steer for the Reds. He's been hitting well. He's got some positional flexibility, especially for deeper leagues. That's a good pickup. Jake Berger's been hitting the ball nicely. Is he stealing too? He had a stolen base today, and he had an attempt the other day. So they might, they might be, he might be running a little more often. Didn't really think of him as that. Trey Turner went over five today. I kept him the season before. I need him to, to do better. Um, Brenton Doyle was a recent pickup. Jeff McNeil I had earlier. This I drafted him. Brandon drafted Brandon Nemo. Picked up Kevin Crimear. He's been hitting hitting pretty hot, but I'm okay dropping him whenever. Brandon Marsh seems to be warming back up. Picked up Mickey Moniak. Those are some of my recent pickups. Picked up. Uh, Picked up Jack Sawinski, but dropped him again. He's a little streaky. Here's Yusai Kikuchi, uh, 99 out of 99 for Toronto, the Bluebirds. You're a bluebird. You're a bluebird. You're a bluebird. You're a bluebird. Anyone know that song? It's a kind of a deep, not that deep, I guess, if you're a fan. Carl with the Blue Jays. You're a bluebird. You're a bluebird. You're a bluebird. Bluebird, bluebird, bluebird. Dee, 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 dee. It's Bo Bichette, 81 out of 99. Another bluebird for Carl. There's Leo DeRocher, 2 out of 10, piece of the jersey. Old Dodger going to J. My Dodgers, old Brooklyn Dodger. 
Ooh, Royce Lewis. I don't think Royce Lewis is going to be available in my 16-teamer. No, Royce Lewis all, already rostered by, by Macho Man Randy Johnson. That's the team name. Brock Burke, jersey and autograph, 40 out of 64. This Texas Ranger going to Jonathan. Jersey autograph, Dalton Jeffries, 51 out of 99. Dalton Jeffries, a pitcher? I thought he was a... You know, am I thinking of Dalton Varsho, the catcher? Who's, I think they put him off catching, too. I think he's always been a pitcher. All right. Anyway, that goes to Carl and the A's. Maybe I'm thinking of Dalton Varsho. There's Jordan Lawler. 30 out of 99. That's going to go to Adam and the Diamondbacks. We got a bucko. We got Ronzi Contreras, 78 out of 99. Speaking of bucks who are doing well, Mitch Keller. I guess just figured things out. Just worked on some stuff in the offseason. He's one of the best pitchers in the league now. I drafted him. Didn't expect too much from him, but he's been one of my best. The X-Man, Xander Bogarts. Spotlight signatures, 2 out of 25. Still Boston edition. Matthew for the Red Sox. I like these midnight signatures. Nice design on those. And the book, Orange Team, Orioles, Giants. Giants, it's Mike Yastrzemski, 22 out of 40, Jersey and Otto. Carl's, Carl Yastrzemski's uh, grandson. And that's for David and the Giants. David Belcher. Maybe, maybe perhaps a relation to old Dodger Tim Belcher. You guys remember him? Remember Tim, remember Tim Belcher? Got a guy trying to trade Buxton and Jordan. How much would I give up for them once pitching? I'm always a, a, a good amount. I mean, depending, it did, obviously depends on your team's needs. But if someone's willing to move those two guys, I'm down. Wants pitching though, huh? I would try to talk. I, I would try to like, you know, lowball him by trying to trying to bring up Buxton's uh, injury history and stuff like that. But Buxton's on. I feel like he's he's on. Jordan strong. Um, is he slumping a little bit these days? I, I don't think if he is, I don't think it's going to last very long. If you have a surplus of pitching, yeah, I give up a couple pitchers. All right, fourth and final. Good luck. 35 out of 99, Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, if you if you need sort of some, some power, some hitting in your on, Danny, I would, I would dangle a little Bobby Miller out there. There's Sean Murphy to 99. Bobby Miller, I mean, there's a good chance that he'll make a few starts and they'll probably send him back down and then bring him back up later. So you might not get consistent starts out of him. It's Carl with the A's. So you might be able to kind of take a popular name and try to snag, snag those guys. Here is the Man of Steel, 24 out of 25. I, I, I am the greatest, greatest, greatest for all time, time, time. Piece of the Lumber going to Carl and the A's. We got Jake Berger. Oh, Bergatron, that's what it says. Two, 22 out of 99. He can feast on the homers but it looks like he's putting a little speed into his game.
Carl with the White Sox. We got Alec Manoa, 10 out of 10, struggling mightily. What's going on with Alec Manoa? How did he do today? Alec Manoa took the loss. What's going on with him? Three innings, six strikeouts, but four earned runs. 87 pitches in three innings. He took the loss. That's kind of weird. 87 pitches in three innings, but only three hits? That's... Oh, where are the... You know what? Give me walks. How many? How many? He was probably walking dudes. That's what he was doing. I don't know why. Oh, that's, that's just the overview section. Oh, he walked five guys. That that does. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Now that makes a ton of sense. What's going on with him? I think people are. It doesn't look like he's injured. Because I think the velocity is still up. I've heard some people say maybe he's overthrowing. I don't know. I mean, if you know, if someone could figure it out, they would have. They would have told <laughs> the Blue Jays would have probably figured it out by now if it was an easy fix. Here's field pass Blake Snell, forty-six out of forty-nine. That's for the Padres. That'll be for Jonathan Lastbaugh Mojo. There's Matt Brash, 21 out of 99. I think he's been doing, Matt Brash doing okay, Danny. Nice patch, nice looking patch for Seattle. Nice, nice one for Carl. I think I thought I saw an article where he was, was it a Fangraphs article maybe, that he was not pitching but just throwing. You know, you know there's a difference between throwers and pitchers. He might be overthrowing it. Here's Oswald Peraza. Jersey and autograph, 20 out of 49 for the Yankees. It's going to be for David M. Solid break so far. Let's see what we got to finish this off. We got legendary material signatures, duels stat line. Ooh, the big hurt with back-to-back -back MVPs. A couple pieces of his lumber. An auto on some parchment paper there, it looks like. This is going to go to the White Sox, Carl, and trust me, she'll like it too. Just text Jaspies to 555-5555 for a complimentary bottle. This break sponsored by Eugenics. Here's Kevin Smith and the six. Another Blue Jay, Blue Bird, 3 out of 25. That Blue Bird song... A uh, McCartney and Wings song, I believe. McCartney and Wings or McCartney solo? I think maybe McCartney and Wings. It's not bad. Not as charming as Blackbird, but Bluebird's pretty solid. All right. There it is, boys and girls. Now time to make some, uh, make one person really happy and, uh, and some other people really sad. All right, so let's flip over to I mean, two dice, or two, one dice, two lists. So we'll do the book first. Cincinnati, Johnny Bench, Gary Carter, Montreal, Pudge, Texas, and Mike Piazza, New York Mets edition. And we'll use one dice roll for both lists. The other list, this is for the wax party invite. So let's gather those names and put them in the second list here. One dice roll to rule them all. One dice roll to bind them. Two and a five, seven times. Seven lucky times for both lists. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. It's going to go to Montreal. It's Gary Carter. Montreal. Adam Kupperman has the Nationals. Expo stuff goes to the Nats. Nice, Adam. I I feel like I feel like you you've been putting your at bats in, but I feel like it's been it's been a minute or two since we've had a nice consistent break 
from start to finish of some strong hits for you throughout throughout each box. We have fast we've had fast starts, but nothing else. Good middles, but not a good beginning end. You know, a save at the end, but not a. You know, I feel like this was a nice stretch of nice stretch from start to finish. All right, now let's flip back over here. Apologies to Texas, Jonathan. Apologies to Mets, Scott, and Cincinnati. Ed, we'll get him next time. Congrats again to Adam, though. Seven times for the wax party spot. Still got a chance at that. Name on top after uh, two and a five. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck, gang. Spot two, sad times, but we got a lot of wax party breaks to do, so don't worry. Keep working on it. Keep working on it, Adam. Very close, but just not quite this time. Got a lot of other good stuff, though. All right. But the name on top after seven, you're in the wax party. It's Jonathan, who missed out on the book, but ends up... But I don't think I called your name very often in this break either, Jonathan, so... There you go. You're in the wax party. You're guaranteed some wax. I don't know what it's going to be, but once we complete all of those breaks over the next handful of weeks or so, um, we'll eventually do the randomizer and match you up with a nice box. Details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get into the wax party, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one.